Have you honestly looked at a tabletop mountain before? Oh, I guess I should hand this over. The rest of the video is basically a failure to understand geology. Happy to take over, Blitz. So, tabletop mountains. What are they and why is Shane so, so wrong? Looked at a tabletop mountain before? Like, literally, please Google tabletop mountain. How did the top of this mountain, quote unquote, get flat? For those curious and who haven't Googled it yet, tabletop mountains are highly elevated mountainous plateaus that have very flat tops. They're also called mesas in Spain, and they are some of the coolest geological features on Earth. In fact, this one was thought to have inspired James Cameron for Pandora. So what are they, and why aren't they petrified tree stumps? Well, firstly, if they were petrified tree stumps, where are all the gigantic leaf fossils? Because, you know, we find lots of leaves much smaller, which are more delicate, more intricate. We should surely see massive leaf fossils that just happen to, you know, be deposited and preserved because of the flood, which apparently came after these trees were cut down. Mesas are formed by several processes. First, you have to have an area of relatively flat ground, usually a floodplain, shallow marine areas, any place where there is sedimentary rock deposited. Now, this happens in horizontal layers, and this is important because he mentions that how are the tops so flat? Well, it's because floodplains generally are flat. Now, now, what happens is over time, these sediments get buried, and the horizontal layers start compacting and lithifying, turning into solid rock. Now, not all rocks are the same hardness. You have soft rock and you have hard rocks. Now, usually what happens is you might have a silt or a claystone, which is then superseded by a sandstone. Now, this is not unheard of. You might have a floodplain with a river that floods and basically deposits lots of like shales and clays. But then if there's a delta nearby or some sort of um, rising sea level, you might have sand come on top of that because sand is normally found in more turbulent environments like the marine environments. Now, coming back to the point, over time, this lithified rock gets uplifted due to tectonics. This can be due to a distant mountain building event or just an upwelling of magma beneath the crust, which pushes the entire area upwards. The sandstone and siltstones erode differently. What happens is the tabletop mountains essentially have a cap rock, right? So these cap rocks are very hard, very resistive. So as they get uplifted upwards, all of the surrounding soft stuff gets eroded away, leaving behind these very tall structures because the cap rock stops them being eroded down any further. That's why all of these mesas have flat tops and they are very, very hard cap rocks. I hope this clarifies it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and Blitz, let me know if you need any more help.